global trends of poverty. Poverty trends in India with relation to the rest of the world. With relation to the rest of the world. It is not only India or a developing countries which are facing the problem of a poverty. Poverty is existing almost in all the economies of the world. All economies of the world. It's due to the poor economic growth, poor economic growth and uneven distribution of resources. As we read as a resources are not evenly distributed over the earth. Due to this, due to the uneven distribution of resources, which adversely impact over the economic growth of country. And third, as a growth rate of population. In some countries are there where resources are not adequate, land resources not there, but a population resource is abundant. Ab abundant. Such kind of economies are the overpopulated economies, overpopulated countries. Those countries where the population is a population resource is equivalent to the resources, land resource, land resource. These are the optimum populated countries. As compared to the land area, population is existing. These are the optimum populated areas. But some of the countries are there, like as a Russia, like Canada, which are having as a larger extensive surface area. Land area is some more, but the population is a very little. Such economies are the underpopulated areas. In underpopulated areas, there is possibilities for a growth of population. Growth of population. These economies are better in state as compared to the other economies like as under or optimum because due to which as the population it can be as a brought from the overpopulated areas towards the underpopulated areas so those economies where where as the migration due to as a migration the workforce as a moving towards as a those parts of the world where the population growth is the lesser in such economies as also the poverty trends are existing. Poverty trends. So poverty is not only in India, it has like, it has lies in a developed, underdeveloped and a developing all the types of our countries. But the percentage of a people living under the poverty as the vary from country to country. These are vary from the country to country. To study about the such global trends of a poverty in different economies of a world, we are studying in a following ways. For example, the first, the fall in a poverty ratio in a certain countries. Fall in global poverty. Fall in global poverty. Since last one century, 100 years of a economic growth of a different economies in which most number of economies of a world, they became the independent. They freed from the dictatorial rule like as a Germany towards as a democratic ideals or a monarch, monarch as a rule of a colonial rule of a Britishers over India from as the independent democratic countries. So these economies are moving in a pace of a development. They are moving on a path of a development through their efforts. The World Bank, it defines the poverty as living on less than $1 per day. There has been a substantial reduction in global poverty. Global poverty. We take the example of India. In India, at the time of independence, 57% people living the under poverty which now as the less than the 30 percentage of a population living under poverty. Less than 30 percentage of India's population living under poverty. 
Singapore, which became as independent, independent in the age of 1970s and 80s, now becomes as a, it became as a developed economy. So the changes, changes introduced, modifications introduced in our economies, world economies with availability of a job opportunities, availability of job opportunities, control over a population, control over the growth rate of a population, it's supportive for a control over poverty trends in a, those economies. So since 1980s towards a 2001, the suddenly as the world economies, world economies, they freed from the poverty trends, freed from the poverty, it's due to as a globalization. World becomes as a global village. Globalization we, means, globalization means interconnection between economies. In a present scenario, all the economies, all the different countries are interdependent. Not any of a country, it can survive without the use of the resources of the others. Means independently, nobody, it can survive. All, even not even as the US also. No doubt, you, United States of America has a developed economy, one of the developed economies of the world, but they also need as a raw material. They need as a human resource. Such human resource has a moving from the African and Asian countries. So world economies are in a category of a open market, global village, interconnection between economies, interconnection between the economies. With interconnection, they are selling or purchasing, they are importing some materials towards their economy and exporting the other materials through which the such economies can surviving in a world economy. One simple example is their North Korea. In present scenario, if you are seeing the North Korea, basic items, food grains, vegetables, fruits, everything is a very expensively selling in a North Korea. Reason, due to as a United Nations, there are the restrictions, trade restrictions are imposed on a North Korea. Not the, any country of a world exporting the materials towards as a North Korea. Their impact visualized in a form of a inflation. Goods are very expensive in a North Korea due to the less supply. Due to less supply. So means all economies are interconnection. Interconnection of a world economies responsible for a distribution of a income in a different countries, which decrease the poverty trends. Clear? Poverty trends are decreasing in a different economies of a world with generation of a, with generation of employment opportunities. Second, regional variations. Regional variations. Due to the global poverty, due to the reduction in a global poverty with vast regional variations, poverty has declined substantially in a China and Southeastern Asian countries due to rapid economic growth and massive investments in human resource development. But the pace of reduction of poverty in Southeastern Asian countries, especially the India is a slower. The pace of reduction of poverty in such economies like India is a slow as compared to the demand. Its main reason as the growth rate of population. High growth rate of population in India-like countries where due to as a burden of a population, not easy to control over a poverty trends. It's not easy for a country to control over a poverty trends in a sudden way. These economies are eradicating the poverty in a slower when we are talking about the Southeastern Asian countries. Since last 50, 60 years, China improved their economy by setting up the manufacturing units. Chinese goods now presently are selling in almost all the countries of the world. For example, if you are comparing as a Chinese goods with the Indian goods, Chinese goods are the goods manufactured in China are less expensive. These are a cheaper comparatively the Indian goods comparatively the Indian goods. Jab bhi koi saman kisi dusi country ki boundary mein enter karta hai, they have to pay the duty, tax, excise duty. 
मीन्स एक्साइज ड्यूटी लग के तो सामान महंगा होना चाहिए बट इन डेट स्टेट चाइनीज गुड्स आर सेलिंग इन इंडियन मार्केट एज ए लो कॉस्ट रीजन ड्यू टू एज अ प्रोडक्शन इन अबंडेंट दे आर सेलिंग देयर गुड्स एट अ लो रेट सॉरी लो रेट अंडर सच सर्कमस्टांसिस वॉट विल बी हैपन इन प्रेजेंट टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर्स दे विल सेलिंग एज देर प्रोडक्ट एट अ लो रेट आफ्टर अ सम स्पैन ऑफ टाइम when the domestic industries they will stop their production then if they will start to sell their product at a high rate people will bound so indirectly they are they are capturing the indian economy indian economy which will be as a visualized in a form of the long run bad impacts on economy so these are occur due to the regional variations clear poverty in india third heading poverty in india poverty in india has also declined but the pace of reduction is a slow pace of reduction is slow pace of reduction is very slow according to the world bank according to the world bank's definition poverty poverty line is estimated by a person which is spending the 1 dollar in a day a person which is capable to spending as a 1 dollar in a day is considered as a above poverty line as according to this there are the 35 35 percentage of a total population of india is lies under the poverty but when we are comparing when we comparing as the india's total population total population in relation to the our own definition in relation to the poverty then it will be as a more than the 40% more than the 40% of people which will be living as a below poverty line in which the planning commission states that planning commission states that people which are spending as a 32 rupees in a day they are considered as the above poverty line and those which are spend which are unable to complete the such necessities by spending a 32 rupees these are the below poverty line clear so poverty in india next as a poverty in a south america poverty in south america poverty in a south america the ratio of a poverty in a south america has not changed in last 70 years the ratio of poverty in south america has not changed in the last 70 years the reason is that in these economies these economies of argentina brazil brazil peru chile these are the those economies paraguay these are the those economies which isolated from the rest of the world isolated from rest of the world during the 200 years of a colonial rule over the asian and african countries these areas freed from the european controls european dominance due to which as the poverty trends not highly as affected since last 50 60 years in a parts of a in a parts of a south america next as a poverty in a africa poverty in south america the trends of poverty the ratio of poverty in south america has not changed in last 70 years last 70 years due to due to less interference of a less interference of a foreigners in their economy their economy economy of a south america economy of a south america isolated it segregately surviving as compared to the rest of the world at that time when the europeans controlling over the african and asian countries and the such circumstances south america south america due to as their distance it it experienced as a isolation that's why as a still as a poverty not highly affected their economy clear next clear up run next is a poverty in a sahara poverty in a sahara 
expanded or increased since last for 50 years. Poverty trends increase in a Sahara region in the African continent more comparatively to the rest of the world. Rest of the world. Mainly poverty, mainly poverty increase in Algeria, Algeria, Libya, Algeria, Libya, Chad, Sudan, Chad, Sudan, Niger, Libya, Algeria, Algeria. In such economies, the trends of a poverty increase comparatively the last 50 years. Comparatively the last 50 years, poverty trends increase in Algeria, Libya, L-I-B-Y-A, Chad, C-H-A-D, Niger, N-I-G-E-R, Sudan, S-U-D-A-N. These are the regions of a African continent, African continent, the poverty in this sub-Sahara region, poverty in this sub-Sahara region increased from 41 to the 46 percent, 41 to 46 percent, 41 to 46 percent due to what are the reasons responsible for the hike in a poverty trends in a Sahara region in Africa? It's due to famines. Famines. Famine is a dead state when consistently the rain not occur. Drought affecting the area consistently more than the three to the five years. That condition is known as famine. Drought is dead state when rain do not occur in a one season or a year. That state is known as the drought. But, but when consistently drought appear in a one particular locality, more than three years is known as famine. Is known as famine. When famines are occur, under such circumstances, land loses its moisture. Land loses its moisture. If the moisture not present in a soil, how can a seeds will germinate? How can uh, seeds will germinate? So such areas are affected by the food insecurity. Food insecurity. Clear? The reasons responsible for the increase in a poverty tends in a African continent as first, expansion of famines. Second, expansion of famines. Expansion of famines. Second, high growth rate of population, high growth of population, high growth rate of population, population as increasing as the as per the alarming rate, alarming rate under such circumstances with relation to with proportion to the population resources, services are not improving. Services are not improving. That's why the poverty as a mainly lies in a African Sahara region, sub-Sahara region of an African continent. High growth of population, famines, famines, and low economic growth, low industrial growth. Industries are the lesser concentrated in this region. Fourth reason is a internal disputes, internal problems. In this region of a sub-Sahara region, having as a internal problems in which the countries are, they are engaged in a battles, engaged in battles, engaged in battles. One example is there, India, Pakistan independent at the same time. Under such circumstances, after completion of 70 years, India is a developing nation, Pakistan is an underdeveloped nation. Both became independent in the same time, but one country as a developed, another as a independent. One more example, Singapore. It independent in the 1980s, but presently is a Singapore is a developed nation. Poverty, unemployment is not existing. Such trends are not existing in a Singapore. So when we compare the these three economies, 
Pakistan, India, most of the time spent in a engaged in a battles, Indo-Pak battles of 1948, 62, 65, 1971, 1999. In these battles, they, sp they spent the lots of money as expenditure. As expenditure, they lost their money. If such money, it would use for a constructive way for a development through which both the countries can achieve as their developmental goals, which work done by the Singapore. Singapore now pre presently as the developed economy of a world, it's due to as their optimum use of resources. Those resources in these two countries, India and Pakistan, which, would, which, which can be used for a growth purposes, for a developmental purposes, but such resources spending on a protecting their territories for a arms, ammunitions, arms and ammunitions. So that's why the, both the countries are lagging, as, lagging behind comparatively the Singapore. Clear? As compared to Singapore. So this was as a reason, as an internal disputes, the battles in which as a Saharan countries of Africa engaged in a battles, they lost their resources and became as the, which were faced as a more poverty compared with the other parts of the world. Next as poverty in Russia. Poverty in Russia. The poverty has resurfaced in some of the former socialist countries like as Russia, where officially it was non-existent earlier. Where earlier as the poverty not existed, but not, but now as a present in economy, as a poverty as visualize. Visualize. Russia, you are familiar with the Russia. Russia's which is separated from the former USSR, Union of Soviet and Socialist Republican countries. It was as disintegrated in the 1960s, age of 1960s, from which Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Russia, these countries were the separated. Countries separated. Afterwards, as the separation from the USSR, these countries now as a resurfaced the existence of a poverty tents. Such poverty trends, which were earlier not as a visualized due to the large natural resources and the surface area, but now as a, these are visualizing. No doubt, Russia having as a larger extensive area, but due to as a surface area, it has experienced as a extreme cold weather conditions throughout the year, which are not favorable for a growth of agriculture and industries. Such areas are in, not habited by the population, little portion of a Russia used by the population for its settlements. That's why the population growth and the poverty has a presently now has appeared in a parts of Russian country in Russia. Clear? These are the poverty trends in all over the world. Now as a last topic of a chapter as a remaining vulnerability of poverty. The severe, uh, severity of uh, poverty, vulnerability of poverty, vulnerability of poverty means which sections of a pop, which sections of our society are highly affected by poverty. There are two sections are widely affected by the poverty in India. These are the socially and economically, socially and economically backward sections, socially and economically backward sections. Poverty and occupation, both are correlated. Both are correlated. Poverty and occupation, both are correlated most of the poor people include agricultural agricultural casual laborers the tribals disabled persons physically challenged people physically challenged people are highly affected by the poverty highly affected by poverty there are two groups in our society which are affected highly by poverty as socially 
socially marginalized socially marginalized sections marginalized sections which includes scheduled caste communities scheduled tribes scheduled tribes scheduled caste people scheduled tribes and economically 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 poorer sections economically poorer sections which includes beggars beggars rickshaw pullers rickshaw pullers third casual workers casual daily wage workers in cities daily wage daily wage workers in cities in cities next agricultural laborers which are highly affected by the seasonal unemployment agricultural laborers agricultural laborers agricultural laborers women which are dependent on their families girls women which are dependent on their families elderly people elderly people which are not having the pensions elderly people vegetable vendors they are also not having as a regular source of income regular source of income construction workers construction workers servants domestic maids domestic maids m a i d s domestic maids yes domestic they are as the economically poorer sections servants maids are the those groups which are the economically poorer according to the estimates of planning commission according to the estimate of planning commission agricultural laborers agricultural laborers household agricultural laborers and household servants they constitutes the 25% they constitutes the 25% of the total labor household of the total labor household household and 57.60% 57.60% of which are living below poverty line 57.60% are living below poverty line below poverty line in those states where agricultural laborers agricultural laborers those states where agricultural laborers form a great share form a great share great share poverty is also higher in case of a urban poor people the poverty occurs primarily due to poverty occurs primarily due to the outflow of the rural poor into urban areas the casual workers unemployed daily wage workers unemployed or daily wage earners 
domestic servants, rickshaw pullers, hotel and restaurant workers, hotels and restaurant workers are fall in this category, are fall in this category of the urban poor, urban poor, social groups which are most vulnerable, social groups which are most vulnerable to poverty are scheduled caste, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, scheduled tribes, households. Apart from these social groups, there is also inequality of incomes, inequality of incomes within a family, within a family, in poor families, all suffer, but women, elderly people, women, elderly people, elderly people suffer more than the others more than the others. Clear? This was our chapter poverty. Any questions? In March examination, there will be four chapters constitute from the geography and economics. Three chapters from a geography, climate, drainage, natural vegetation, and one chapter from economics, poverty. Total four chapters. Total four chapters, it will be as a included under your Ma.